I'm doing a review for my favorite show, The 100. This is a review for Season 4, Episode 10, entitled Die All, Die Merrily. But what it should be called is The 100 Games. So, of course, the plot is they have the Conclave, where they're going to have the 12 warriors, one from each tribe, uh, fight off in a battle royale to determine uh, which clan is going to take the bunker. And of course, you have Octavia representing Sky Crew. You got Rowan representing the Ice Nation. And you have Ilion, my least favorite character, representing whatever clan he's from. Sharuka Skruka Crew. And then, just out of the blue, in comes uh, Luna saying she wants to take a part of it, even though her clan is completely dead. That way, you know, everyone will be fucked if she wins. Yeah, sure. Because, you know... That, that's that's how that will work out. I mean, talk about the 1% versus the 99%. Like, people, oh, they're so enriched into their traditions and religion that they would honor it. Right, all of them. Yeah. Anyway, that's a non-issue. About. Spoiler alert. I'm going to put that out now because I have a lot to talk about. So, spoiler alert. I'm going to be getting into the plot of this one because this is a great episode. Okay, so basically the plot was actually pretty simple. It's just the... Uh, Octavia trying to survive, you know, the hundred games. And, you know, what what is her plan? What should she do? And, of course, you've got the other contestants, and you've got uh, Echo joins in, starts shooting people with an arrow, cheating, and Bellamy goes and confronts her. And, um, yeah, it was a very good standalone episode. And, of course, you know, the uh, one clan member started dropping like flies, you know, getting killed off. So he has some very cool fight scenes. And eventually, Ilion, you know, he tries to team up with Octavia. She doesn't want anything to do with it. But she's like, I gotta kill you in the end. And then uh, he saves her life as she's attacked by three different grounders. And just as he's about to say something, whap, arrow to the neck. Uh, yeah, Echo got him. And uh, I think I filmed my reaction to Ilion's death. Mm. Mm. That was sweet. And I ain't talking about the rook man. Yeah, I've said it before. Ilion, I couldn't stand him. He's just a whiny little Luddite. And tonight he got it. When that arrow hit him, I was like, yeah, yeah. Of course, it didn't kill him right away. Octavia had to put him down, you know, a mercy killing, which was, uh, yeah, he's dead. So, yay. Not the only one. Of course, as the, you know, the game goes on, the contestants get whittled down to Octavia. Rowan and Luna, and um, Octavia and Rowan decide they're going to team up and try to take Luna down. That way, at least one tribe and a lot of people can survive. But, you know, if things start, they get into it, and Luna's, you know, she's a tough cookie to beat because she was a nightblood and whatnot. And uh, right as, you know, Rowan does get the upper hand, it starts raining black rain. And, of course, you know, the, the Black Rain starts burning Rowan and Octavia. Octavia runs for cover, but Rowan kind of stays there to take, finish off um, Luna. Of course, Black Rain has no effect on Luna, so she is able to take out down Rowan. And, wow, what a brutal death that was. I mean, she's stabbing him, and then he tries to get the upper hand, but then she twists him around, takes him, just throws him down into the, you know, the burning hot uh, water and just... Puts his head underneath and just drowns him and as, you know, he's being scalded alive. Yeah, that was brutal. And I guess we got to say goodbye to Rowan. Pretty decent character. You know, nice backstory where he was exiled out of his tribe and then eventually he rises to be king and uh, charismatic. Like, really good performance. So, I do miss Rowan. And of course, we also say, say goodbye to one more person. Luna, as she tries to... Finish off Octavia, Octavia sets a little trap and ends up just driving a sword in the bitch's back. Um, you know, her death, I mean, it was pretty cool. Uh, you know, this season she's been kind of mopey and dopey and like really pretentious, so I, you took a dislike to her, but you know, like the, the season before it, she was pretty, a pretty cool character, you know, she was, she had her own thing going and she kind of rejected most of the ground or culture. And then this season, they decide she's just going to be a whiny little snob. And then they kill her off. You know, her death wasn't as satisfying as Ilion. 
So, of course, Octavia has won the conclave, and Sky Crew's going to take the bunker, but Octavia says, you know what, I wasn't fighting for Sky Crew. I thought I was fighting for myself, but you know what, I was fighting for everyone. We're all going to share the bunker. And, you know, throughout the episode, I was thinking that. It's like, you know, you have some of these uh, clan guys, they're, you know, strike up alliances, like in, you know, the 100 Games, or Battle Royale, or, you know, Survivor, and, you know... Why didn't Octavia think of that at the beginning, have some kind of deal with some like Rowan or Ealing on says, you know what? Let's uh, take out these other guys, and I'll tell you what, I'll make room for some of your people in the bunker. Not all of them, just some of them. Because, you know, once that crew wins the bunker, it's theirs to do with their whatever they want, right? So, you know, they can invite some people in. And then, you know, Octavia at the end says, you know what, that's what we're going to do. I do think it's kind of silly that she would invite everyone in. It's like, Kate says, we can't fit everyone in there. We ain't got enough food. But, you know, you could take some of the kids, you know, maybe some of the healers, some other people who, who like, grow food, you know, useful people. Uh, with me, I would definitely get me some nubile women so we could reproduce. You know, just uh, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, definitely. Yeah, the two of you twins, that'd be nice, you know. Let's go uh, repopulate the human races. Let me get some condoms and we'll get right to it. But, of course, this plan went to shit because we find out Jaha and Clark uh, pulled the fast one on everyone and snuck everyone, in, all of their people, all the archers, except for Octavia and Kane, into the bunker. And of course, we find this out because, you know, earlier, Bellamy, after he had, you know, stopped Echo and... Um, you know, pointed it out to Rowan, who was pissed at her. Uh, he got chloroformed, and now he wakes up in the bunker and finds out what they've done. It's like, oh, come on! And like I said, they left Octavia and Kane up there. You know, the shit storm. <laughs> but that's going to cause it. Oh, I just feel, you know, it's like they would have won anyway. That's the irony of it. But I thought it was a good ending. You know? And it was a very good episode. Like I said, I do love these standalone episodes, and this is another one. Last week they had, you know, with everyone's contemplating their own mortality. This one we hit the hundred games and Ilion gets killed off. <laughs> and uh, that's really all I gotta say about tonight, this week's episode. And I'm looking forward to the next week.